Hey guys! Oh, I'm a really like a little driver over here. I'm like, ooh, 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 slippity, slippity, slop. You guys, I'm just leaving my hotel. I am off to go get something delicious. I am going to Giordano's Italian restaurant. And the reason why I'm filming an intro in the car, which I probably should do because I'm a horrible driver. I'm like one of those old ladies that drives like this. I'm like, eh, like up against the wheel. <sighs> Click the link down below to follow my Patreon for mukbangs and drama not allowed on YouTube. Link below. But the reason is I'm looking, it's supposed to rain. It never rains here in Canto Boltonese. <sighs> but <laughs> apparently it's supposed to rain today. And I'm like, really? And I was going to eat this in the car. So it's that big stringy pulley pizza. But if it's raining, you won't hear me. I thought it might be a little nice ASMR action. Twinkle, twinkle, chicka, 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 little rain stick going on on the roof of the car. I don't know what it will sound like. I will, I do like speaking. The last time I ate here, let's be real. I was like a, a zoo animal during feeding time. I was just like, I barely spoke. I put it on my daily channel. This is on my third channel. So if you're new to this channel or you just clicked it, this is another channel. I post every week here. So make sure you subscribe to this one. Thank you. <laughs> and um, don't forget to follow my brand new Instagram. That's going to be linked down below. All right. It's always in the descriptions. I have a new Instagram account. I'm almost at 100K. So help me get to 100K. <sighs> Maybe I'll get verified. There's so many other accounts. Nikocado, 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 Nikocado. I'm like, that's not me. Especially TikTok. Oh my God. There's like 5,000 Nikocados. <laughs> Which, um, you know, <clears throat> I should do more TikTok. You guys seem to love watching me dance. There's nothing better than watching a chubby boy jump up and down. <laughs> Ooh. And, uh, I just mean it's kind of comical too to see me like. Ur, 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 ur. And you know, I, people have said I have some good moves. It's all the water weight shaking. That's what gets you up. Yeah, it's, gets you excited. It's the water weight bouncing around. You're like, woo. <laughs> so I'm in a really good mood. Something amazing happened. And I can't tell you. That's the, a really annoying thing. I would love to share this with you guys, but I can't. Ooh spooked. Um, I can't tell you. I mean, I could tell you, but I don't want to tell you because if something, if there is, what, how do I say this? If in the event of a possibility, a possibility or a potential opportunity, I don't want to jump a foot ahead too much where I end up tripping and blowing it. So let's just say the stars are aligned. It involves Hollywood. And that's how I'm going to say uh, so I'm really happy about that. It's not like, well, shh, see, I don't want to give it away. You never know. This is all, I mean, shoot. Okay, that's all I'm saying. I'm just in a good mood about it. Usually I'm fighting and screaming. I'm a little upset too. I just got done ranting about um, some subscribers. You guys, I'm just not going to read your comments anymore. Honestly, what do successful people do? Do they, do they watch the news to care about what this stranger said and what this stranger said and what this person said in this other country that you wouldn't know happened if there wasn't a news station telling you, you need to know this. You know what that does? It keeps society dumb. It keeps them upset set and looking for people to blame for why their life are in shambles. It, look, it perpetuates eternal victim, eternal victimhood, which is a big problem in the United States. Yes, like me when I'm a Karen and it's your fault. You see what I mean? Well, that's just how I am. But the news, I hate to break it to you. A lot of the times it does this. It, and guess what, who benefits? The wealthy. Because they're not bothered by what a stranger said or what this person got divorced or this happened in this country. They're focusing on developing and uh, building upon their craft, their craftsmanship, their skills. What keeps them leading our world in innovation and in, um, discoverability and in invention. You know what I mean? Uh, one of my good friends, I'll tell you this. Oh my God, the mountains are so beautiful in Cantabot, Denise. Girl, one of my good friends told me, she was like, oh, can you see me? Ah. She said, oh, she, uh, she lives in New York. She plays a bunch of instruments. She speaks a bunch of languages. And she told me a long time ago, I'll never forget, that if there was social media around when she was my age, she would have half of the skills that she has. Half of the skills. Because how much time a day do you watch Nikocado? You know, wasting all your time watching me eat food. <sighs> well, maybe I'm your little, I'm your, I'm your cheat meal. You come here to relax. That's different. But you know what I mean? Like if she was wasting her time worried about this celebrity and that person and this this Instagrammer said this and this person's being canceled today. This politician said this. Let's cancel the Vatican now. I saw that. Everyone's canceled the Pope. It, it keeps you in the low class. And 
my friend, who's very smart, very amazing, and very gifted, and she would have half the skills if she, because life brings creativity and um, intellect when you are able to be at peace without distraction. When you have constant distractions, like my phone, like Siri, everyone emailing me thousands of times a day, it distracts me from my own train of thought, and so I could have a brilliant idea, and boom, it gets, I get distracted. Everyone gets distracted, like me when I'm driving. Hopefully I don't crash. So, um, I just kind of want to put that out. It keeps you going to the voting polls and keeping certain people in power go both different ways because you're angry and you're looking to be a victim and blame ever everyone else because you're constantly told to be angry. You're constantly told, I need to be upset. I need to be worried. I need to be anxious. There's something happening in this country. There's something happening in that country. This celebrity did this. Now I'm worried for them. They don't even know who you are. Why are you worried for them? You know what I mean? And it keeps you going to the voting polls, thinking you can make change, and the, the elite just keep collecting the money. Because they're not wasting their time like you. That's my theory. I just told you a big life secret, okay? You should be thanking me. Let's see what my new boyfriend says. I, I would like new Baskin Robbins. You guys, one time I went to Baskin Robbins in my underwear. And it was full of poop. <laughs> I was like seven. Yes, I still wet the bed until I was ten. Okay, D -d don't. Shh. It's very common, actually. You guys, I'm having this really disgusting, horrible. Oh, I can't show you. You guys, okay. So last time I did the stringy pull thing, I was wearing short sleeves. Ooh, the cheese didn't look good pulling up, so I had to do a thumbnail with it going sideways. Hey, I got 200k views in a day or two days. I'm really proud about that. If that goes up to 300k, so that's a hitter, and I feel like it will. Oh, so today I got my little gloves that I brought all the way from the Asian store. <laughs> Can you imagine? He's probably thinking like, what is this man doing? I don't know. Lord help, help us all. So anyways, um, yeah, I got the gloves, I got the long shirt, and it's gonna be a big old cheese bowl. Now hopefully it doesn't start pouring down. It's so beautiful. You wanna see where I am? Okay, we'll, we'll do a little tour. Okay, this is a very long light too, all right? There's a Baskin Robbins over there. Eh. Okay, that's it. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm cute. Did you guys like my collab with Hungry Fat Chick? Oops. Love her. Love her so much, you guys. Please be nice to her, too. I mean, obviously, she gets the fat comments. I get the fat comments. It's kind of, yeah. That's She literally has it in her name. She knows. <laughs> you don't have to tell her. She, that's her brand, okay? I'm literally thinking about becoming Nick Okado Fatboy Kato. <laughs> but oops. This, there we go. Um, sometimes I worry about this camera. Let me kind of scoot down. There you go. Now you can see me. Um, so, what was I going to say? There's a lot of dust in the air. My windshields are all so dirty of dust particles. It's filthy. And that's what we're breathing. I never looked up the breathing, the air quality. What is it called? The breathing index or something like that? <sighs> Florida is one of the actually the best states in the U.S. for air quality because everything gets blown away. Not that they have the best environmental practices or there's not they make car pollution or light pollution. or No, it's just... Everything gets blown away. We're a little bit lucky, but it's okay. This is where I live now. Oops. Excuse you. That little hermit, little Cooper. I think Coopers are such weird little cars. They make me think of like... In a quarter mile, turn right onto South Rainbow Boulevard. South Rainbow makes me think of German ladies with like big uh, bifocal glasses. Oh shoot, my thing turned off, but I heard her. What'd she say? What'd she say? Turn what? Face ID, please. Turn right. Okay. Let's see if I can go here. Turn right on the South Rainbow Boulevard. Okay. See, here comes the. We're we gonna hear some little ASMR with Nikocado today. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be interesting. But this is why I turned on the camera to talk to you a little bit. Say hello. Do some proper manners. Continue on South Rainbow Boulevard for two miles. Two miles? Oh my god, we're almost there. Hopefully, you know, I didn't pay over the phone. There better be a cheese bowl. Oops. Yeah, let's go on it. Well, let's just stay in the middle till it's time to go. Anyways.
guys. Do you like the sound? Do you like? Is this soothing to you? You know, not all my videos need to be loud and obnoxious. Some people like the soothing videos. But I don't care. I make, I make videos based on how I feel. Some days I wake up and I feel so horrible. I'm like, I'm angry. I'm going to be angry. And that's that. And then some days I feel really... Like today... I saw this great thing on Twitter. It was this uh, little boy, little black boy, and he was comforting his brother, and his mom was recording. It was like a six-year-old, no, the, the black boy, well, they're all, it was a black family. It had half a million likes. I liked it, you can go watch it. It's so, I needed it. So it was this little, little kid, little kid, Let's stay on this leg just in case. This little boy, maybe three, four years old, about to have a temper tantrum. He started crying and huffing and puffing, stomping around like an avocado. And his brother looked at him and went, no, 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 no. His brother is maybe like six or seven. He's like, no, breathe in, <sighs> release. Come on, no, 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 listen to me. <sighs> See, don't you feel better? And give him a little pat on the back. It was so cute. You know, kids pick up what their parents do, you know. A lot of times, I'm friends with some teachers. It's so weird thinking I'm almost 30. Yes, I'm friends with teachers. Where am I turning? Shit, two miles. Oh, let's just stop. Let's just stop. That car sped. I was about to speed too. Um, my, some my teacher friends say like a lot of times when there's kids having problems, they're misbehaving. They don't do homework. They don't. They don't have any desire to like learn or achieve or disc, you know expand their mind. It's because they have horrible, crappy parents that just popped them out and said, oh, another handbag, another accessory, another thing, a tax write-off, a government assistance. You know, people do that to children. Can you believe it? Yeah, in this country. <sighs> in all states, in all, all types of people. Anyway, so um, that boy, I just, just seen that. Now, obviously, you have your rare cases. The kids, the a kid could grow up in a horrible condition and they make it out beautifully. Um, there's a lot of people like that actually. But the, the chances are, most likely you're gonna be like how your surroundings are. Cause that's what you're gonna mimic when you're that age. So it just, it re, it's a reflection of the parents. It's really beautiful to see. So I liked it on my Twitter. Yeah, you guys. Okay, so it, so it says I'm 10 minutes, eight minutes away. I'm gonna run in there as fast as a fat boy can run. So there's two Giordano's here, I think. So I'll be making a left and then, and then it'll be on the right. Left and then right. Left, right. Um, the other Giordano's is right down, right, well, I'm downtown, so it's like the strip is what it's called. It's like south. And uh, I went there and, ugh. I had to park in a parking garage. I had to walk through a casino, but everyone was smoking. I don't smoke. I'm not against smoking. I just don't personally want to breathe it. My health is so bad based on what I do for my career. I don't need extra vices to, to go on top of it. So I stay away from all those types of things. Even drinking. I've, I've been sober for a year. Well, it was so annoying. I had to run. And then I had to run all the way back to the car I ate in the parking garage. I was frantic. I was, my heart was accelerating. I thought, that's why I lost pounds. <laughs> I went to a hard attack grill and she, the, the, the scale said I lost three pounds. I'm like, well, it's because I had to run to get my pizza the other day. I still ate it all, but metabolism, my metabolism is high. You guys don't understand. To gain 150 pounds over the course of my mukbang career, that's four and a half years. That's about 50 pounds a year. 50 pounds a year? Shoot, you'd gain 50 pounds in a month if you ate like me. You know it. You'd gain 50 pounds in three or four months. I gain it in 12 months. Barely. It, it, it's actually a little bit less because it's four and a half years. So, metabolism, but yeah, whatever. You can say whatever you want. As long as you comment, it keeps my views high. So, whatever. Comment, 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 comment. <laughs> That's why I never... Well, I also don't want to take away people's opinions to... Some people like to watch me In just... Quarter mile, use the left two lanes to turn left onto West Charleston Boulevard. Look at those beautiful mountains. Ooh, I have stomach pain. Am I going to crap the car? Where am I turning? West Char Char Charlton. Cantabodini uses English, just to, set, just to let you know. <sighs> yeah, some people have... Some people just don't know. They don't realize. They've never traveled like I have. Okay. They've never traveled like me. This lighting is horrible. Don't worry. We won't be having a lighting like this for the... 
the pizza. Although, so if it's shine on the cheese pull, that'll look kind of cool. Um, oops, hi. So I'm turning left. I can go shopping after this. Let's see, what is there here? A subway, there's just more food. I'm gonna stay on this side because I have to turn a right. Charleston, Charles, yeah. Use the left two lanes to turn left onto West Charleston. And I have to get gas too. What's around me? The honey, honey baked ham. Oops. So I have this thing on my elbow. It's like a discoloration of, it's horrible. It's like a dog. I, uh, oops, I, I'm not actually turning. I'm in the turning lane. I love this car. It goes beep, beep, beep if you're about to hit someone. If you're trying to turn, it lets you know if there's something coming by. Continue on West Charleston Boulevard for two miles. Two miles? Okay. Oops. I'll just stay in this lane, it's whatever. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna turn you off so I can focus. to say uh wow so here i am at the giordano's i have to shout them out i mean it probably kind of went this way but i don't want to say on purpose i mean no one does this on purpose but <clears throat> they got a big old shout out listen well i eat here i'm eating here anyway that is the shout out but i just have to say <clears throat> so i i ordered over the phone for nikocado avocado and i came here and the pizza was burnt, they said. Was it really burnt? Did they forget to make it? I don't know. Whatever the case was, I had to wait another 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Luckily, I didn't have a family or something to do, or this wasn't for a party. I mean, luckily it's just me and you, me and you on the camera. So I'm like, it's fine. I'll just sit here for 25 minutes. Well, the manager, assuming he was the manager, he was clearly the boss. He's like, can I get you something to drink? Yeah, we'll, we'll get you a drink on the house. I'm thinking like, oh, I could go for a vodka right now, but I have to drive. So I just said, honestly, I just have water. <laughs> so I'm sitting there with my water. Uh, they, they gave me another. So I drank a water. I finished it. He gave me another one to leave. And then he's like, can I give you an appetizer or a soup or a salad? I'm like, well, you know what? They're offering. I'm, I'm not being a Karen right now. Like, I need to speak to the manager. This is unacceptable. I didn't, they did the, you know, you, most of the time when you, my, oops. When things get messed up, you have to take that initiative. Be like, I kind of want something to make up for my time, my expense, compensation. You know, it's inconvenient. Da da da. They just th started throwing stuff at me. They gave me water, then they gave me another water, and then I said, I'll, I'll have mozzarella sticks. They brought the mozzarella sticks right away, and then a bunch of people here recognized me. They said it. Their sisters or their something girlfriends. I don't know. They said, oh, my sister watches you. She's a big fan. I'm thinking like, no, not you. You can admit it. <laughs> um, I could just eat here, but if they're still there, that's really... You know what? Let's just, let's just turn around. Let's just eat right here. Why not? It had good lighting. See what's happening? Is this an entrance? Yeah. Um, oh, you know what? We're going to go down here instead. Oh, I don't think I can. You know, I just, because there's all these windows, I don't want them to watch me eat this in the car. Okay, I don't know. I'm like, I, I look like a crazy person just going around now. Anyways, so they're like, oh yeah, we watch your channel, or oh wow. And then I could hear them talking about me the whole time, because they're just, it's very empty, because, you know, the pandemic and stuff. They do have takeout. Shout out to them for takeout. They're talking about me the whole time, pulling out my videos, and being like, oh my god, look at that. Oh, I, I just post my collab with, um... Hungry fat chick, and so I heard them mentioning that. And um, yeah, let's see if I can go by this building. I look like a crazy person. Anyways, so so now I felt a little like I'm like okay, everyone's staring at me. This happens every everywhere I go. People are, are you Nikocado? Are you Nikocado? Can I have a photo? They didn't ask for a photo, but everywhere I go, this happens. I'm used to this. I have to go this way. 
So, this person should have been letting me go here, but oh well. I'm just gonna go here by this man sitting in his car. If someone comes up to me, it's gonna be really funny, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm eating in the car. I need the sun not hitting me like crazy. So, the manager was really cute. How do I go over here? Well, I like heels bald. I love, I have a thing for bald people. I don't know. Oh, what am I doing? I can't do stories and drive. I'm a horrible driver. Um, so, I'm waiting, waiting, waiting some more. ATM's 864. We all know the drill. Just waiting and waiting. 25 minutes, it comes out. Well, so I got two waters, a whole thing of mozzarella sticks, which I might show. I'll show the whole video on Patreon because there's copyright music. So if you want to watch me eat the whole thing, go to my Patreon. Well, they walk out with two pizzas and cookies. I, I just paid for the large pizza, which is like, you know, 25 bucks. They gave me four cookies. I mean, I don't think everyone's gonna be treated this way when they make a mistake. They probably give you something to drink or an appetizer, but they give me two. I, I don't know what to do. I am really fat, all right? And we're trying, we're, oops, we're, oops. I'm not be be beeping for anyone. I'm a gainer over here. <laughs> I can keep gaining weight and I don't know why. We'll have to figure it out one day. One day I'll, I'll solve the mystery. So they give me two large stuffed pizza. What am I going to do with two? Oh my God. I would drive this to Hungry Fat Chick. Hi, Hungry Fat Chick, if you're watching. But she is not around here. I don't wanna say what she, I was about to say, no, I'm not saying, she's just not here, you know what I mean? And I have to go all the way back to downtown to do my thumbnail in an hour. I could, I should have brought my computer. I could have ran this over to her. Life is interesting. I did not expect to get two, I didn't expect to get two pizza. I didn't expect anything, but shout out to them. That was really nice of them. I mean, I get recognized at restaurants all the time. They don't do that. Would they have done all that if they didn't forget to make the pizza or it was burnt or whatever happened? Probably not, but this was like an opportunity. Honestly, I'm just like, I become self-conscious because I like, I don't want to be treated differently than someone else and I'm making these videos to kind of just like eat and review the restaurant so I don't want you to be like, oh, they're going to treat us like kings here. No, you get what you pay for, but that was just really, that was a nice surprise. I, I'm telling you, I do I do food reviews for a living and that's rare. Oh, uh, see, I maybe mean, I should have kept that on, the double chin strap. Now you gotta watch my double chin. <clears throat> well... I'm literally just gonna eat, eat and I don't know if these are offices, if these people are gonna watch me, it's gonna be so funny. There's all these windows here. You guys, I'm doing this for you. I honestly feel self-conscious because I don't know if those people are gonna watch this video now. You guys, I'm not a celebrity, I'm a normal person. But I, b imagine being in my shoes. You saw the last video, I got recognized 12 times in a row while vlogging, like 12 times. Beep, 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 anyway. Um, <clears throat> Let's put on my, my black gloves because last time it'll just look more, it'll look cooler with the effect of the cheese and everything. Oh, sh is there a black background somewhere here? Black background. You know, Giordano's had kind of a black background. Can they see into the car? No, they can't. Should I drive background? I seem like a queen. <laughs> There's this white background here and it's going to mess up the cheese pull. You know what I mean? It will. I'm someone that doesn't get embarrassed. Hi, I just pulled over and then I drove by. I don't know why I'm so blushy. I don't know. I feel like I know so many people are watching this. I don't, you guys, I actually am just a fat boy that loves to be fat. <clears throat> oh, I didn't do the thing. I'm like totally out of it. Let's just eat. <sighs> this is. I did not sign up for this, but I guess I did. <laughs> I stuffed the plates in here from last time I went to Jort. I'm literally I'm gonna be the mascot for Giordano's in a minute. Mm. Well, I must say, I'm still very 
pleased by how they handled that situation. <sighs> okay, hi. Welcome to my fat channel where we be fat together. We do crazy stuff in the car. <laughs> and I love this pizza. You can only get it here and in Chicago. I don't know where else you can get this, but it's amazing. I don't know if I should like, can this go back even more? What if I sat in the back? Okay. Like sit on my seat. Wait, let's turn the car off first. Uh, let's put, yeah. Okay, yeah, this is better. Ouch. Kind of. Look at my belly. Hey. <laughs> A zoom position. Look at what I'm doing. I'm doing crazy stuff for my subscribers. And where are the napkins? Let's get those out and ready. I. Good thing I brought my napkins in. Give me napkins. They probably didn't think I was gonna eat in the car. <laughs> they probably thought this was for a family of 10. Nope, boys. Just me and, oh, I put napkins here. Me and my fat, fat channel. <laughs> if, this seat's br if this seat breaks, we're in trouble. Ouch. <sighs> okay. Let's just do this. Presenting to you, Giordano's Pizza. Maybe this will go on the main channel. No, this is too chaotic to be on the main channel. Oh yeah, it has these little clips. Hmm, mm, let's get some focus on there. Ooh. Know what we should do? Peel this back. Peel this back. That's what he said. Oops, that sounds gross. No, it sounds good. <gasps> there we go. I mean, if I wanted to. I couldn't even do two if I wanted to. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that other piece. Oh my god. So Now we get my crack, this is like my crack, <clears throat> I'm gonna get my crack on. This looks like, reminds me of Titanic, all the windows just fogged up. Ooh. Ooh. Ha. Oh. Mm. Click the link down below to follow my Patreon for mukbangs and drama not allowed on YouTube, link below.
Incredible. <laughs> oh. I know it looks crazy. I know I'm crazy, but just don't say anything. Huh. Okay, here we go. Mm. <laughs> I shouldn't use this this hand because this is the hand for my camera. Oh my god, I'm making a mess. <clears throat> so cheesy. Mmm. 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 I love cheese. Dun dun. I love cheese. Dun dun. I love cheese. Dun dun. Yes, I do. I love cheese. We know. I love cheese. It shows. I love cheese. <laughs> Here we go. Yes, he do. Do do. Okay. I just ate half the large. This is a large. When I did this last time, I, I was a small. Or was it a medium? This is very big. Mm. Let's do some cheese pulls with this side. Oh my god. There's stuff going everywhere. Mm. Can we focus on this, please? Let's not keep focusing on my face. Focus, thank you. Okay, what we're gonna do, set this back. What is this? Oh my God. Mm. 
Wait, let's keep doing the cheese pulls then. I thought this was another. Okay. Well, good thing I opened it. I would have driven all the way to Hungry Fat Chick. Be like, here's your stuffed crust pizza or your. And be like, nope, it's not in there. Mmm. 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 How many string pulls can someone get? Mm. Mm. It's everywhere. This will still be pulley. Ooh. Mm. Okay, now we can talk. There's no more cheese pulls. I got some good thumbnails. I'm good. Mm. I am so disgusting and so embarrassed and I don't want you guys know I don't like eating in public because of the copyright music, the lighting, blah 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 blah, the pandemic. But I almost prefer that than this because there there could be people coming in all directions. Well I guess that's also in restaurant. But if I select a table it's kinda like up against a wall. <laughs> but the everything's okay. I think we're done with the cheese pulls, aren't we? I think we are, yeah. I really butchered, I ate almost the whole thing. They have some frozen ones for like $10 cheaper. Oh no, 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 no. That might have been a medium, this is a large. I was like, oh, I don't have to drive all the way here, but A, I hate cooking. B, it will be a disaster. And C, it's nice making a mess. <laughs> I'm totally out of it. I'm not spe I'm not doing my story times. I'm like self-conscious. I'm, I don't know. This looks like a meat lover's. Mm. Okay, a critique. <clears throat> the other Giordano's felt better made. This is like, like every bite I take, it runs off. And I noticed with that one, it was like wet on the top still. Okay, look. And there go all the toppings. <clears throat> this one too, it was very, the one back that I just finished, very runny, like the sauce. So first they burnt it, now I don't know if it's undercooked, because everything's cooked. 
it's just nothing sticking right. I don't know how to change it. I suck at cooking. I don't know anything about cooking. Let's try. Better, but you can still see it, like, separating. Mmm. This is sausage and pepperoni and ham and bacon. Mmm. Mmm. I love sausage. That's my favorite meat. No. Mm. Let me just try the sausage by itself. Mm. I love sausage. Breakfast sausage, that seasoning. Mm. Mm. I'm really full. I just ate 3,000 calories in front of you. Do you realize how many calories of cheese that was? I just ate 3,000 calories of cheese in front of you. Hmm. Very pretty. Ouch, it's very hot too. That's good. Mmm. Mmm. Well, I hit 350. <clears throat> if you didn't see my video from the other day, I am 337. Well, no surprise, but it is kind of a surprise because I've been in the 330s for like four months straight. Like three to four months straight. Maybe three months. <laughs> Maybe four months. It's been a long time. I'm like plateauing. <clears throat> and I shove in food all the time. Well, you guys see on all my channels. So I'm like, what's going on? And I <laughs> and I want to go to Hard Attack Grill and be able to eat for free. It'll feel like a cool accomplishment. And I, I don't feel like I can... I don't know. Like, I, I'm not one to stuff it in to stuff it in. I eat till I'm full. You know what I mean? Like, right now I feel like I just hit a wall. I'm like, ooh. I just ate basically a whole... Well, three-fourths of a whole large Chicago deep dish. And then I just had... This is very tasty. I was very critical about it falling off, which, I mean, it does, but... Mm. Excuse me. Um, I didn't pull off that time. Maybe it's because it was too hot. Maybe it settled, cooled down a little bit. Mmm. I love sausage. Can you believe how crazy I am eating like this in the car? <clears throat> oh. mm. There's stuff everywhere. Should I try a cookie? No. I don't do sweets. <clears throat> Man, I had two waters, mozzarella sticks, and a whole... A Chicago deep, deep dish, and then now this meat lovers. That's funny, they gave me the meat lovers. <laughs> Especially that, well, they were all cute. Oh, such a cute <sighs> See, it's very hard for me to date because I get recognized everywhere. So it's just like, there's always gonna be like, a difference in like, just feel like, A, how do I know you like me for me, and B, I know you're not using me, and see, you're 
what is it they say? Power play? Power, let's, no, that's football. Power play. I've seen that a lot on social media lately. Power dynamics, power, power tripping. It's like a power trip. <laughs> and I don't know anything about power tripping. The only power I do is power bottom. Mm. Wait a minute. Okay, I can do power bottom. I know that one. Yeah. But I can't do power play, power tripping. See, when I met Orlin, excuse me, there was none of that going on. And it's not like I was a known person where I can walk into a restaurant. And people are like, are you Nick? Are you Nick? Oh my God, are you Nick? And they sit there and talk about you for 15 minutes. So it's like, I sympathize with people. <clears throat> I know James Charles, well, well, let's not talk about that. That's a whole separate issue. But pretend it wasn't a teen, but it was someone his own age or 21, 22. I still feel bad because... You're never gonna have a normal. You're not, never gonna have a normal life, you know. All celebrities. Have you ever realized why celebrities are only dating celebrities? Like not the YouTubers. The YouTubers are kind of wild cards. They do whatever they want. But <laughs> they moved to Cambodia, like me. But <clears throat> but like the the A list celebs, they only interact. And it's hard because on YouTube, people want you to be personal, relatable, personable. You know, not, and they want you to like talk to them and respond to their comments and be their best friend. It's like, well, wait a minute. First, you say there's a power play, and then now you're saying, well, talk to me. I need your attention. Like, that's what YouTube people watch because they, they're lonely. But you watch, you know, A list celebrities from the movies, they're not interacting with you, and you don't expect them to interact with you back. You know, you don't DM Britney Spears and be like, she didn't DM me back. I'm canceling her. No, there's an expectation that you will never hear from Britney Spears. You know what I mean? And maybe that's too much of a, like a power, power, power celebrity, but just like, um, who's like a normal celebrity? Jennifer Anston, you know. Well, she's not normal. She's a very. All celebrities are celebrities. You know what I mean? There's no expectation that they need to talk to you. They need to read your comments and heart it. But they're still celebrities. And you still view them as YouTubers. Yeah, you, there's all these extra interactions and demands and connections with the YouTubers. So it kind of... I'm only speaking for me. It, it kind of like sets me back where I'm like, well, how... If I only date someone that's a YouTuber, that looks like I'm just clout chasing... I'm not celebrity enough to be with other celebrities. And then if I'm with a normal person, the chances are they might know who I am or they can look me up and boom, it twists everything that the way they speak to you, how they ask for things or presents, even romantic encounters. You know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's hard. It's scary. I really sympathize with all YouTubers when it comes to like romance and hookups, everything. Um, because people are people and people have alternative motives and people are, again, I know I brought up Shinjo, that's different because it's, we don't have to get into the, that part, but I'm just, even if it was a fifth year old person, it's still, well then people will question the fifth year, well why with, you know, someone around your age, <clears throat> it's like, people will always, it's never going to be the same, so, like if I went back in and be like, because, you know, that's how people dated before social media. They were like, leave their number on the table or be like, hey, here's my number if you want to like hang out, get to know each other. Or they'll write it on the, t the little the little check, the tip. It'd be like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 two. <laughs> you know? But if I did that right now, I'd be like, ew, Nick's creepy. He's like, he's like going after his fans. It's like, no, it's not even about that. I don't even know if they're fans. And they could be fans and not tell me. Like, it's just so weird. It's so hard. You know? I only have 5 million subs. I have 2.5 2 on the main channel. 700,000 on the third. Half a million on the fourth. Half a million on the second. 400,000 on the, the fifth. That's like 5 million people. Now, obviously, some of them are repeats. So, say it's about 3 or 4. Three, 3 million people. That's... That's a lot, but it's also not that much, you know? So, it could be harder. You know, I'm not, I'm, I feel like, well, I've never been normal. Let's actually make that clear. I don't wanna be like, I'm a normal person. No, I've never been normal. I've always been strange and weird. Outcasted in school for being a drama queen, voted class clown, voted most likely to appear on Broadway. 
I was with the band geeks and the orchestra nerds. Um, I had friends from the popular crowds, friends from the band geeks. But it was always different. Um, so in a way I'm kind of used to it, but... It's different where I can't go... Like yesterday I went to go buy noodles. Five people. Five people. They took my photo. And literally as I was turning my cart to go get kimchi. Boom, another... Can I have your photo? Oh my gosh. It's like... ah. You know, if this hap this happened in Florida too. However, I mostly did drive throughs I did a lot of Uber Eats and a lot of Postmates. I'd say 80% of the time, because, you know, I can write it off, whatever. I just, it comes to me, or Orlin will go get it. Here, I have to get everything. I have to go shopping for my own groceries, Orlin do the groceries. So it's just like, I... I'm, it's like a reminder every day. You're famous. You're famous. You are famous. And it's sad because, you know, I want, I want human connection, I want romantic encounters, I want a new boyfriend. I need a boyfriend, just someone to cuddle with. Someone to rub my belly after I eat. Like, shoot, do you know how good that feels? Look how messy this is. And I'm never gonna feel comfortable even finding how to even go explore that, you know? It's very difficult. And now you guys might not even just try to imagine what I'm talking about. And you might be able to be like, oh yeah. I don't know how else to explain it to you. You see, that's why I left in that thing with uh, the Korean corn dogs. I left that in, being recognized over and over and over. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave all this in. This happens every day. I didn't film the people at the restaurant. I didn't film the waiter. I didn't film the manager. I didn't film the people at the store getting the noodles. I didn't film all the people. I, I'm, I'm not walking. I'm not a vlogger anyway. So most of the time, the camera's not even out. But I decide to so, I, so people could see. It. Do, do you know what that feels like? It's like I. I love attention, but I also don't want to be treated different. I don't. I don't want to be looked at looked at twice. I don't want to be tricked. And if I'm looking for a friend or someone to talk to, or a hookup, you know, people go on Tinder. I can't go on Tinder. You know, everyone uses Grinder. I can't go on Grind. Like it's like I don't think anyone here knows what that's like. But it, I remember Trisha and I talked about this a little bit. And I told her, I'm like, you know, oh man, it's windy. I told her, I, um, oh, I need to make, I'm having therapy with you right now. I need to get going. What did I say? Oh, I said, I've been with Orlin, you know, for so long. I mean, shoot, I met him when he was 19, I was 21. We were friends for a couple years, and then we were romantic, and we we were together for, I can't add Five years. <sighs> Feels like twenty. <laughs> but I I wasn't I was a no but not a nobody, but I was not somebody that people look at twice and take photos of sneakily. People are tagging me on Instagram of me walking around or shopping or at the Korean store. Like people are sneaking photos of, like the paparazzi. This happened when I went to Orland. Um we had like a little honeymoon or something. People at the sushi restaurant, remember people post all over Twitter, Nick and Orlin, at the like being paparazzi and we're eating sushi and no one told us, no one said hi, so it was like a sneaky, bad angle, double chin sticking out. Ooh, I'm like, well, how do you think that makes me feel? It's weird. This was a really crazy video, I must say. I'm full of crap, but you know, I really tangled this up. Is there a trash can here? Oh, my steamy windows. Oh my God, it's so funny. Oh, it's cold. Is there a dumpster? I have all my crust back here. But I, I don't wanna do that. And, Rude person that dumps his crap, but I don't know what to do. And I don't want to take it back to the restaurant. I could, but I'm going to. Okay, let's put on the um. Was that high? Click the link down below to follow my Patreon for mukbangs and drama not allowed on YouTube. Link below. Uh, 
I feel like to find love, even friendship, unfortunately, but especially love, has to be someone that understands what I go through. Someone that doesn't know me and look up to me and like watch me. And you know how? <sighs> Here's the thing: people will not tell you. People will not tell you. I was talking to this one person on OK Cupid. He, we were talking back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then boom, days later, he's like, by the way, I'm a big fan, I've been watching, I just had to tell you. I'm like, and you were acting this whole time, you know, I just, I wanna date someone that doesn't know me, but the more popular I get, I'm gaining over 100,000 new subs every month. Every month, if you add up the channels, every the main channel, well, this is my third, my main channel was like 30,000 last month, 40,000 a month, it's just gonna get bigger and bigger and harder and harder. You went there, I did not. And I miss that aspect of Orland where I felt safe. The wind the windshields are not Oh, it's on this side. The steam is on this side. Oh my god. That's why it's not working. It's on this side. Look how wet my hand. Okay, put it back in park. I hope you enjoy these long videos. This is like therapy time. Now I'm getting very serious. I'm feeling very emo. I just ate 50,000 calories of fat. <clears throat> now it's time to snuggle. And I don't have anyone to snuggle with and I can't find anyone to snuggle with. <clears throat> I don't think anyone realizes that. I feel like people should really sympathize with people in the status or whatever you want to, however you want to describe this. Status, famous, popular, most hated. Okay, I'm most hated, but I'm still known, and that's that's the scary part for me. Oh my gosh, I'm taking this back to the hotel. <laughs> well. Oh, there's my cap also. It's cold. All right, everyone. I will see you later. <clears throat> Big shout out to G G Giordano's for stuffing me. And not not in the way that I just talked about here, but stuffing my stomach that was nice. Yeah. Oh. Look at the mountains. Is there anyone behind me? No. Oh my god. I kind of want to get some selfies. For my Instagram. That's so pretty. A big thank you to my patrons for supporting this video, and a bigger thank you to my new executive producer, Leslie Jeppesen. If you'd like to become a producer and help support my channels, or if you just want to join the community to see what else I'm posting, come on over to my Patreon by clicking the link down below. You must be age 18 or older. And for something even more personal, gift yourself personalized video just for you. Or book a video for someone and surprise them. We can also DM each other and chat one-on-one. -on -one. So if you want to watch even more content from me, come follow my Patreon. But if you want a personalized video or just want to talk, come over to my Cameo. Patreon and Cameo are both linked down below. Thank you so, so much. Bye.